Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the F1 Project Phoenix at 2022 career mode. Today you're here for episode 9 for the British Grand Prix and big big news coming ahead of this race. Sir Lewis Hamilton announced that the British Grand Prix at Silverstone would be his very last in Formula 1. His imminent retirement confirmed uh, by Mercedes um, who said they will course uh, be announced that a replacement for Hamilton and uh, the team forward um, in due course uh, obviously there's a little bit of a summer break ahead between the Brit British and um, Belgium Grand Prix uh, which is uh, the next episode um, as well so obviously um, Max Verstappen hasn't won for a couple of races now um, obviously he's been paying respect to saying that his uh, big title battle in uh, 2021 with uh, Hamilton same as iconic to, uh, to be able to race against a legend of the sport as well obviously Verstappen's now focusing on trying to round out a uh, second uh, world championship he is quite far in front but this man of course is also looking to try and stop in Charles Leclerc has had a great form uh, you might recall that Ferrari um, got taken out by Ricardo. Ricardo uh, did apologise, said he locked up severely badly um, into turn one there at Canada the previous episode um, to take both Ferraris and Hamilton out of the race. But obviously, uh, improvement of form is required for both Leclerc, Ferrari, and even Sainz as well. On the front row, then, it's Hamilton on pole in his last ever race, and joined alongside him is Lando Norris, an all British front row, um, starts P2. Sergio Perez could only fit qualify third, have a Daniel Ricciardo, McLaren running well, second and fourth here, as well in front of the home crowd. Charles Leclerc, he's down in fifth place ahead of Carlos Sainz, both of them equally matched as they have been, although Sainz will be looking to beat uh, Leclerc, he needs those points more than Leclerc. Gasly beats myself to seventh place, a um, little bit annoying, but you know, Silverstone is not a great track for me um, as well. Sonoda gets into the top 10 as well, but he's on the, he'll start on the soft tyre. Max Verstappen has a 10th place penalty. He did that when he was fast, he's in qualifying, but starts 10th. Uh, Vettel starts down in 11th place um, with a free choice of tyres alongside Giovinazzi, who starts 12th. Um, he'll look to score points as well. Ocon, a great best, better qualifying from him than the recent race. He starts 13th. Lance Stroll is 14th on the grid, looking to add to his points tally from the previous episode. George Russell, oh dear. Now with Hamilton gone, could he be replaced as well? We'll have to wait and see. Russell's own note crashed in uh, qualifying, joined alongside Alex Albon. Uh, Mick Schumacher starts 17th ahead of Oscar Piastri who's still struggling down in 18th place and on the back row Alonso has a penalty and Valtteri Bottas starts last once again for the Maserati Andretti team and now it's time for the race today's British Grand Prix. So yes, the Silverstone, a uh, track that, it's a bogey track for him, I'm not going to lie. Um, I've only ever won once around here, um, and that was in the F1 E mod, actually, um, on this channel, in all the career mode and modded career mode episodes that I've ever done. Um, it's it's even worse on the issues game, like, it's painful from cops down to the end of Maggots and Beckett's, and even then... Um, also then through ter term one and two can also be a little bit painful um, as well but anyway enough about that race strategy is a one stop from medium to hard so um, it's the sun is going to be shining we don't want to do the two stop it's going to be a lot slower um, around here especially with the tire wear um, as well so uh, we'll look to do the one stop um, should be easy um, I think all that outside the top 10 are doing a two stop, so we'll see how they fit in as well. Five rip lights then for the British Grand Prix. Lights are out and away we go, and it's an it's an okay start. Better than Leclerc there has had a terrible start. So we're gonna try and go down the inside of Gasly, but Gasly uh, gets the better traction out of turn one. Um, up to turn two, turn three. 
as well. The two Ferraris still going side by side. We get dispatched Gasly down the inside um, as well. And Leclerc loses out to Sainz. As we're watching now, our race leader, Lando Norris. There he is, ahead of Lewis Hamilton. So Norris got the better start ahead of Hamilton. And Perez is still ahead of Ricardo um, as well. Um, so now going defences against the reigning world champion Verstappen who's dispatched Gasly um, as quickly as well. Gasly, Verstappen has a little look at Magnus and Beckett's nothing doing there. We're just having to hold on against the world champion as he also had a go as well on the exit there of that corner as well. He's right up our rear diffuser. It's Verstappen through all those corners. I mean he's the man that's winning the championship of course we have come to close as we make a little bit squirrely on the exit there of um, of that corner. We're going to have now uh, try and uh, break the toe and the slipstream. Uh, he's got to have e uh, DRS. Um, we do have a bit more power. The Ferrari engine. There's this contact. This contact between, again between myself and Verstappen. I think Verstappen is retiring for some reason. Um, he has side pod on the, on the tyre. Um, didn't didn't show any damage. Um, I don't know, there's, he's lost a little bit of his front wing, and yet he's decided to retire. Um, so we now focus on the battle that's also behind us. That's Russell versus Gasly. Um, Russell's starting a soft tire after crashing in uh, Q2 um, as well from the 15th from the place, uh, 15th from the grid, excuse me. And now you know our tires are also starting to go off. Surely Russell's are starting to go off as well. And I'm going to have you can once again um, on the roll to Maggots and Beckett's unable to make the position work there um, as well. He's going to try and have another lunge uh, through that part and um, goes wide though. And Gasly's going to catch him napping. And it's a beautiful little move by Gasly. He's going to have DRS and move past uh, the uh, British driver in the Mercedes. Russell not having the greatest luck since since winning that opening round of the season. Coming in though at the end of lap 12 with Gasly, uh, Russell pitted a few laps earlier for front wing damage uh, with that incident with Gasly um, as well. So, see what tyres. Can it be a quick time from the Alfa Romeo? No, it's not. A bit, little bit held by the Williams there as well. Um, we're still out in front of Gasly, but at what cost, you know? I mean, that, that's a little bit costly. Could that is that going to cost us any position? There's a Aston Martin. Well, I think that's Vettel, and that Vettel's Vettel's going past. So Vettel has undercut Sonoda. He's undercut Gasly, and he's undercut Russell as well. Although Russell did have front wing change as well. As we're watching Ricardo, he, he was behind Perez still, and unfortunately for Daniel, he's it's Nell Par again. He's out of the race with an engine failure. So, Lando Norris still leads there. No safety car for Ricardo. Ahead, Lewis Hamilton. Those two going uh, hammering and ton against each other. Perez is nowhere to be seen. He's way behind at this point. Um, he's only coming into the background there. So, watching Yuki Tsunoda. Um, he's behind there. He's got our, our teammate Giovinazzi um, behind him as well. And he's had... Oh, Tsunoda's had a Spinala! And I think there's been a mini pile up there. Uh, as Ocon, oh, Ocon's taken out Giovinazzi's tyre. And then here comes Stroll. Um, and he's, well, he's also uh, idiotic by the A at three, those three there as well. So that's going to bring out a safety car to uh, clean up their mess. But it's still a British 1 2 then behind the safety car with Lando Norris leading the way from, Le from Sir Lewis Hamilton in his final ever race um, as well. So we get the, uh, back underway on the end of lap 17, uh, nine laps to go. Probably means that Vettel's going to be able to go to the end of the Grand Prix on those medium tyres as well, which is going to be very frustrating as well, because, you know, Vettel has come out of absolutely nowhere. Um, as the safety cars come out again on the lap 18 um, as well, um, for the site because they didn't clean up in time. It's a little bit like um, Formula E in that respect. Safety car then went came, came back in at the end of, on on lap 21 as well. So we've got Russell has dispatched Gasly now and is now having a look around the outside once again 
through into uh, Cops and we're going to force Russell out at Cops and uh, into the path as, uh, as we're watching Lewis Hamilton then in his final race. Can he get back in front of Lando Norris in that thing? No he can't because he's got a puncher. Such a shame for uh, Lewis Hamilton. His final race is Russell's gone into the back of him. And there's a and they, there's all sorts of confusion with reversing going on as well. And the main man to win out of all of that reversing and ghosting was this man, Oscar Piastri, could be on for his first ever point in a Formula One as well. So yes, the safety there was a safety car that came in on lap 24, but Vettel, his tyres are going off. We've got Gasly right behind us still. He survived. Um, as well, and then that uh, blue, light blue dot of the Williams of Piastri, and Hamilton has dispatched Schumacher as well. So Hamilton is in front of Piastri. We're going for the final corner, penultimate corner overtake on Vettel. What a move for P5, and I think Gasly has taken Vettel out. Well, Vettel's retired. He has. He's not on the results screen. So, yes, what an end there. Lando Norris winning from Sergio Perez uh, getting his first podium for Red Bull. Carlos Sainz uh, getting some more dip points that you need to have Leclerc in fourth. Ourselves finishing fifth. Had a Gasly another good race from in sixth. Hamilton's final race ends seventh. Would have loved it, but it'd be the tally tale of one. Oscar Piastri getting his first points as well. Uh, with uh, yes, Vettel retiring, then everyone went past. Even Bottas went past him at the final corner. Verstappen retired. Um, that's going to dent a little bit of his lead, but not too much. Um, as well, Ricardo as well. Out uh, Ocon really unlucky once again. Uh, another retirement for him. I think that's like five now at the nine races. Ocon has retired, so a little bit of shame for Ocon there. Um, in terms of the uh, drivers championship then Verstappen has a 32 point lead over Charles Leclerc which is quite a lot of race wins still um, as well so you know he can wrap it up I think at the next Grand Prix if results go his way Hamilton will, f will only finish with 35 points I've actually gone level as has Russell with him Norris moves up to 6 with 32 points Gasly up to 11th with 10 the only other change there in terms of the Constructors' Championship, we've got Red Bull have now crossed into the 100, 104, uh, and they're quite a bit away of Mercedes, Red Bull, uh, excuse me, Mercedes, Ferrari and McLaren are all evenly matched. Uh, ourselves, we're still in fifth, but not able, really able to catch McLaren for fourth place. And then obviously Williams are uh, probably going to be now start to be caught by Alpha Tauri. Um, as well, because Gasly has shown some massive form recently, getting points after points after points. So uh, Williams will be uh, hanging on there, although Piastri did score and um, to break his duck into Formula One. So yes, if you have enjoyed this episode, then leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and you see plenty more F1 Project Phoenix videos as when they come out. Until the next video, then I'll see you next time. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy your day and goodbye.